Hey, I'm Kenzie from Bye Bye Biscuits, and this is a review of the Girl Scouts' new gluten-free chocolate chip shortbread cookies. So this is what the packaging looks like. It comes in a little container like this. Um, this is where the Girl Scout that they came from put a little thank you for buying from me, but it had her name on it, so I took it off because I didn't want to put her name on the internet. So. <clears throat> It's a little five ounce container, um, and I do like that it is resealable, which is really great for gluten-free products because they tend to dry out kind of quickly. So it's a nice resealable container. On the website it still says box, even though it comes in this container. These are new, and if you go to the Girl Scout website that says in select markets, I know that it's a little past ordering time, but they are at least in this area, setting up at malls and places like that to sell more cookies. Um, and they are little bite size, face comparison, bite size cookies. And they are chocolate chip shortbread cookies. So not just chocolate chip cookies, but chocolate chip shortbread. Um, and it says on the website specifically they're made with real chocolate and real butter. And they are super buttery. The bag is five dollars compared to three dollars and fifty cents for a box of their non-gluten free cookies. They are decently tasty. I kind of wish that instead of making a new cookie that is gluten free that they just made gluten free versions of their old cookies um, because I would love a tag along right about now. I will say before I give my whole numbers that Girl Scout cookies do use two different bakeries and what bakery your cookies come from depends on the area. Um, when I looked at the Girl Scout website about their cookies, it didn't say specifically what area did which bakery. Um, it just said that you can tell on the box what bakery yours come from. So mine applies specifically to the ABC Bakery, that is where these came from. So before I give my particular ratings for taste and calories and value, I want to talk about the pros and cons of it. So the pros of it are that there's a gluten-free Girl Scout cookie now for people that have issues with gluten, and that is great. Um, it means that the Girl Scouts can raise more money because there are more people that can eat their cookies. It also is great for the Girl Scouts um, who have issues with gluten themselves or who have family members that have issues with gluten themselves because it says that they're not weird. There is a cookie that they can eat. You know, they can eat cookies too. And I think that's really great. Cons to it again is that I just wish they had made gluten-free versions of their other cookies instead of making a gluten-free shortbread cookie. I'm not a huge shortbread fan. Um, I never have been, so I might be biased against these cookies to begin with. So with all that said, the taste, it is a little bit grainy and a little bit dry, and that could just be because it is shortbread. Um, but overall, it's a decently tasty cookie. They're all right, and I would definitely snack on them. I mean. 20 cookies come in this bag, and I've eaten maybe seven over the couple of days that I've had it. You know, it's nice to have just a tiny little sweet doop, cookie. So 3.5 out of 5 I would give these for taste. For calories, um, there are 130 calories in four cookies, and they're really tiny cookies, but that's pretty on par with other gluten-free cookies. So I would definitely give it a four out of five for calories. You know, cookies are cookies and they're going to be high in calories. If you're making the decision to eat cookies, you've already made the decision to eat a lot of calories. Just don't go overboard. And for value, I want to give these cookies a four. Their taste was not amazing to me, and it is five dollars for a kind of small bag, but it is going to help girls build skills and learn about planning and learn of learning about budgeting and I like that. You know, even before when I ate regular Girl Scout cookies, I kind of thought three fifty for a box of regular was expensive, so it's kind of your you get them once a year and the reason why they're able to charge so much is because you can really only get them once a year so for a once a year one-time purchase it's not that bad 
I definitely don't want to be critical of these cookies. They are moderately tasty and I am really glad that they exist and I really think that it's a step in the right direction for the Girl Scouts to be doing this. I just, I think this is a first step and I would like for this to go further so that, you know, in years down the road I can have gluten-free Thin Mints, gluten-free Tagalongs, gluten-free Samoas. I can't remember the name of any of the other Girl Scout cookies, but you get the idea. If you like the Girl Scouts and want to support the girls and, you know, have this available in your area, um, I would definitely recommend picking them up. I mean, if you just get one, it's just five dollars, then that's not so bad. If you are interested in purchasing these, you can go on to the Girl Scout website and they have a list of places that they will be selling their cookies. Um, if you're out and about and want to look this information up, um, they have basically the same information on an app now. It's a Girl Scout Cookie Finder app and it is available for iPhones and through the Google Play Store. Alright, so that's all that I have for today. Um, if there are any particular gluten-free products that you would like to see me review in the future, please leave me a comment down below or feel free to send me an email. I would love to get my hands on those products so that I can review them for you. If you like this and want to see more, please feel free to like and subscribe. I look forward to making more videos for you soon. Bye from Bye Bye Biscuits.